All right, let's dive into mistake number one, which is this. You're missing what's in front of you. In other words, you're not taking advantage of the trademark rights you already have. Okay, let me explain. First, what is a trademark? Well, a trademark is just something that identifies and distinguishes your business from the rest. It could be something like a logo, a slogan, or the name of your business. And for most businesses, it's the name of your business that's the trademark that you want to focus on first. So if you have a trademark for your business name, that means you have rights to use that business name. And having that trademark also means you can prevent other businesses, like a competitor, from using a name that's the same or similar. You're basically calling dibs in a legal, official way. Okay, so how do you get it? Well, you might be saying to yourself, okay, Joey, that's what I want. Help me get a trademark. People reach out to me all the time saying just that. Help me trademark my business name. And I've got some good news for you. You've already got a trademark. That's right. Just by using your business name in commerce, you've automatically gotten yourself some trademark rights. But these automatic rights are not very strong. They only give you exclusive rights to your trademark in your geographic area. That means someone across the country or even across the state can use your business name and there's not much you can do about it. So if you want to beef up your trademarks, then you really want this thing called a registration. And we'll get into that in the next video. But even without a registration, you can still do something. Here's the point. Even with these weak kind of puny trademark rights that you have, you can still do something. Have you ever seen those little symbols after a business name, the little SM or TM? These symbols mean that you're claiming trademark rights. You don't need to file anything or have any registration in place to use those symbols. These little symbols can be powerful because they help deter others from using it. A lot of business owners will steer clear of using a term or phrase if they see that there's one of these little symbols after it. So go ahead and start using these symbols after your business name. Use a little TM if you sell products or goods, or use the SM if you sell services. These symbols can be powerful, but again, your trademark rights are pretty weak right now. In order to strengthen your rights and really own your brand, you're gonna want a registration. That brings us to mistake number two, not having a registration in place. Join me in the next video and we'll talk about why a trademark registration is so freaking awesome and how you're putting your business at risk without having one in place.